then I'll begin to explain. You know why? I would not have used those, vi those videos if our drama team was alive. No, the drama team is dead. The people are alive. The drama team, Tiku. But the people, they are alive. Eh, Jafile. Koshi Wambeno for now. But let's look at this. I tried to look for these videos. You know, the people that did this film, they are not, they are not born again Christian. They are clips. So I wanted to show them before so that they will act it for us. But they are not finding it easy to assemble themselves. By, 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 by July, I will know what to do. But for now, I don't have information of what to do. Now, watch this. Are you ready for me at the back? Those of you at the media, are you ready? Now, it's just three minutes clip. Mama, come and take your tea. Things. Just three minutes clip. Give us volume. I need the volume. I've, I've, I have kept this for you for almost two months now. I need the volume, please. Mrs. Pedro, it's been long I've seen. It is well. With, where is my daughter? Where is she? How are you? It is well with you. Can we have the volume? Is Mr. Tunji around? I need you to please follow. Mama, come and take your tea. Is that why you are shouting my name like that? What is this? What's your voice? So I like my tea. I like my tea. Or is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> By emptying the full thing of milk and milk, that's how you like it. Last time I checked, I'm still in my son's house. And I can't remember he complaining about how I eat or what I eat. And I know he brings the money for everything. Why are you troubling me? Babe! Babe! Your mother is drinking tea. Is there anything wrong with that? Babe, your mother is drinking tea. Come and have a look.
She emptied the tin of milk and milk. I got this yesterday. Babe, we can always replace this. Really? This is just the tenth day of the month, babe. So that means you might as well increase the monthly money by ten times ten, right? Good song. Well done. But, but Mama, you, you could have just used this cup for your tea. Which cup? This small cup? Yes. But you know me quite well that this is too small. This is how I take my tea in the village. Or are you not too poor that you cannot afford uh, beverages for me? Hey! Previously. Mama, what's this? Come down, Mama. Please go to the back. Let me sit there. Come down like her. What do you mean by come down? You don't just stop disrespecting me. I am your mother-in-law. Wow. <laughs> You're my mother-in-law. Stop disrespecting me, Mama. I am your daughter-in-law and your son's wife. I have to sit in front. I am your husband's mother. Mama, please go to the back now. For what? Go to the back. I sit at the back. I'm supposed to be here. Why should I go to the back? I sit at the you? back. I am his wife. Oh, God has joined together. Let no woman, man, put asunder. Mama, please go to the back. I'm not putting anything asunder. I gave birth to him. Carried him in my womb for nine months. Bread fed him. Paid his tuition. Sent him abroad. I suffered. Mama. To make sure he becomes the man he is today. I am his wife. I've been taking care of him good and bad days. But we babe, built this babe. whole thing. Babe, please excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Talk to your mother. So you cannot come here. Babe, and talk, talk to your, your wife. wife. Are you to stop? Talk to your wife. Ma mama. Stop what? Babe, babe, see. Why are you supposed to be having this conversation? Talk to your mother. Okay, mama, please. Can, can you just can you just go can out? Can you get this now? Exactly. Let's go out in peace. How? Babe, this is this is wrong. This is not happening. Mama, calm down. Please go to the back. They drag me out. Drag me out. Mama, I will not touch you. Please calm down. Of okay, course you okay, cannot. Okay. Fine, fine. Check the first thing that is causing this problem. Babe, uh, check, drive. Look at how you are making this sound. Please, for peace to rain. Let me sit at the back. Please. Mama, I'll sit in the front. If, if, my, no, no. if my son is sitting at the back, I'm here with him. Please, Excuse sit me. here. Sit to the other side. Let me sit. What did you say? I'm sitting here with my husband. You what did you say? I'm what sitting here with my son. Okay, and that automatically makes me your driver. Do I look like a cargo man to you people? My son, shift. Mama, you can you sit at the front and we go? Or I go please, back uh, inside. Please, can I have my car keys? I have your car keys. This, can, can I have my car keys, my friend? Can I have my car keys? This outing is over. You won't tell me that now. You won't treat me like trust, my what? Your mother should sit in front. Why? Why? What was the meaning of that road? Oh, yeah. no, you are watching her. <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of a family is this now? What, where, where did I get you wrong now? What, where did I even get you wrong now? Now I want to take my mother and my wife out is a problem now. Babe! Babe! Mama! They even locked me out. Babe! We are going somewhere. We are going to solve this problem today. You know, in African marriage, so many things are wrong. Show us the second one. It's just, it's two. So that everybody will understand his place. I'm telling you, if you don't understand African marriage, in-law matters can tear the home apart. So let us look at it biblically. Let's look at where we are missing it. And let's look at how to handle it. Now watch this one. Thank you, Okay, 
Dave, my son. I want to see you. Okay, well, let me finish up what I'm doing. Oh, I want to see you. Ah! What is wrong with you? What do you think you are doing? Washing plates for her? Do you even want your wife to respect you at all? Mama, what has this got to do with respect now? I'm only assisting. Assisting? It is the duty of a woman to wash plates. It is her duty and not for you to assist her. Take up your position. Act as a man. I raised you better. I don't know what you are turning to since you came into the city. When did you become a hand because husband? Mama, the kitchen is not gender sensitive. I mean, there are a lot of men who are chefs. It doesn't make them less men. I mean, I mean, I mean what is wrong with me trying to assist my wife? She is my wife and not my slave. <laughs> the day you fail to do it, you will realize the mistake you are making. <laughs> Mama, till you then. Hey, please, can you help me blend the pepper? Why? No, as what now? Do I look like your house boy? Or is it because I'm helping you to do the dishes? You want to turn me to a, a, a maid? I'm just, I just want the things to be fast. That's what I'm saying. You want the things to, to, to be fast? That's how you start. I'm not very soon that you tell me to come and mow the floor. Or even go, go, go come and wash your panties. I don't blame you. Be, be very careful. Look. Jesus! You think all this you are doing is just for me? No. It's for generations to come. Mama. You can separate my husband and I. But you can never ever separate my husband from his future children. A man can never ever give what he doesn't have. You see all of this knowledge, Mama, that you're trying to pass to my husband. Bad ideologies that you're giving to my husband. That's the same thing he's going to give to his children. And his children are going to transfer it down from generation to Shut generation. Shut up, You lazy wife. It is the responsibility of a wife to operate in the kitchen. Not for you to drag my son into the kitchen. My son will go out in, from morning to night into the sun and into the rain. To work hard to provide money to feed this family and to take care of things. By the time he gets back home, instead of him to be resting, you drag him into the kitchen to be washing plates and grinding paper for you to do what? Meanwhile, when you are at home, instead of doing those things, you are there watching television. Watching television and what? What mouth on, 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 on the television? Eating every food in the house. What is wrong with you? Do you want to turn my son into a woman? Mama. It will not happen not in my lifetime. Mama, Mama, what if in future I'm not around so my husband should not cook for himself? My male children and my female children should not cook together? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because turning my husband against me? Now you are around. So perform your duty. Or is that how your, your, your father used to watch me for your mother? But this has nothing to do with my father. It does. This is a new era. Stop going back to that era where you come from. This is a new era. Leave my husband and I alone. Leave us alone. Don't you, know? you cannot ruin my son. You cannot kill my son. Let him be. Let him rest. He is a man. Don't turn him into a woman. Uh, you will, we have not gotten there. Some women are going through several things now. And I also want to use this to prepare our girls. Just listen to today's message. Give us scripture. Matthew chapter 19, <clears throat> verse 5 and verse 6. We are going to read together as a team. One, two, and let's go. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife 
and they twin shall be one flesh. Verse 6. Let's go. Wherefore, they are no more twin, yes, but one, one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Father, give us revelation today in Jesus' name. Let's have our seats in his presence. Hallelujah. No matter the question you have in your heart, just pay attention to the message. Because I know that so many of you are talking now. Hey, Ibuluma, what just see by? Now, let's look at the scripture we have read first. Now, the first thing I want everybody to, to learn today, hear me, is that the moment you gave your life to Jesus, the moment you say, I'm, I want to be born again, you signed an agreement with God to live a scriptural-based life. What do I call it? Scriptural-based life. Now, there's what we call cultural-based life. Now, we call cultural-based life. We remove this now. We are through with this. We want to live our lives based on what? The word. So it is the word of God that guides the life of a Christian. That's the first thing I want you to understand before I begin to preach. It is the word. Now, irrespective of what is done in your culture, hear me, the moment you are born again, you bring your culture under the Bible. Anytime your cultural belief contradicts the Bible, you put your cultural beliefs aside. Because it, like now, in, if you look at Nigeria, Nigeria is a, is a country with several tribes, a, cult, a country with several cultures. I was watching one on Facebook. There's a tribe in Africa that, you know what they do to any man that wants to get married? They will tell him to go and carry a very mighty rock. He will carry the rock and he will stand holding that rock with his two hands for some hours. If the rock should fall from his hand, they will tell him he's not qualified for marriage. There are different cultures in our nation. There are, there are cultures in Nigeria that will tell you that your wife cannot sit down in the sitting room when you are seated. Your wife cannot stand up when you are eating. She must be on her knees until you finish eating. Different kind of culture. But say after me, I am born again. I didn't hear you. I will live my life based on the word of God. Now, and listen, Christian marriage, look at what the Bible shows us here. The Bible says, therefore, a man will leave his father and mother. It shows us that in a Christian marriage, hear me, your parents are not part of your marriage. In a Christian marriage, your parents are not part of your immediate family. The moment Sister A leaves Ababi Akas family and Brother A comes from, uh, let me use, look at one, James family. He comes in, Brother James comes out from James family, though bearing James' name, Sister Abiaka comes out from that Abiaka's family, loses her name to Bia James. Both of you are starting a family. Listen to me. Your parents, individual parents, biblically are not longer part of your family. So if you are saying, my family, you are not talking about your father and mother anymore. You are talking about your own dynasty, your own family. Where is my family? This is my wife and my children. So if we, if we now talk about my mother and daddy, we now start talk about, talking about what extended family. It now becomes an extension. You were not an extension before. They were not extension to you before you were married. But the moment you are married, they become what? An extension. Now I want everybody to understand. So stop fighting unnecessary fight. To say, ah, ah, my mother. No. There are certain things we have to do. So let's structure it right now. Let's look at it one after the other. Let's see where the error came from. I will be speaking on four major points. From four major points. Let's look at where the error came from that made parents, that made brothers and sisters to intrude people's family and begin to cause havoc. Number one, let's start from parents. When parents give, listen to this, when parents give too much attention to raising their children, Forgetting that they have a later part of their life 
they should prefer, pre, uh, uh, prepare for. They will expect too much from them when they grow up. I will explain. Let's take it gradually. When parents give too much attention to raising their children, forgetting that they have a later part of their life they should prepare for, they will expect too much from them when they grow up. That's where the first error comes from or came from. For instance, look at me now. I'm married to my wife. I have three children. Now, let me now forget that I have a future, an old age to prepare for. Let me now say, ah, whatever comes to my hand now. Ah, these children, I must raise them. They are my hope. They are my future. They are my everything. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You now invest everything on your children, believing that they are your hope for the future. You now neglect your own life. You no longer think about your old age. Listen, when those children grow up and get married, you expect too much. Oh. And once you begin to expect, if that child should get married and the spouse that does not know history, the history of how much you labor, begins to say, ah, what is going on? What is going on? You feel offended. You want to fight your, your, your son's wife. You want to fight your daughter's husband. Why? Because you got it wrong from the foundation. Where did you miss it? You missed it because you neglected your own life. As you are raising to build your child, also be preparing for your old age. Now listen, why was mama there in that house? Mama was there because she came to reap the dividend of her what? Of her labor. Look at what she said. On her, yes, I saw. Ah, I invested on him. I sent him to school. I sent him abroad. I sent him this. Mama was doing all those things with one intention. What was the intention? So that when he make it, I will now come and sit down. So who are you, the wife, that want to come and tell me that I will not sit down? Mama got it wrong. That's why. When I was studying, God told me, teach even our elderly people. And you know me, sir. I saw scripture from Genesis to Revelation. Beloved, I never saw anywhere where there is what we call Onjiomo. In fact, what the Bible shows us, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Go to Proverbs. Proverbs 19:14. let's read together after the count of three one two and three let's go houses sorry house and riches are the inheritance of fathers wait now these are inheritance that fathers are to leave for their children what is the one that God will give you? He says, a prudent wife is where? Is of the Lord. Now, read this same scripture, Message Bible. MSG. MSG, please. MSG. One, two, and let's go. House and land are handed down from from Now, who now told us that we will get to a point where we now sit down. We that are supposed to be giving to our children, our children will now be bringing to us. It will actually. Abi Father Abraham, show would you Isaac in When he was about to die, what did he do? The Bible says he distributed gifts to all his children and told Isaac, I give everything I own. Every parent says, stretch out your two hands. Every begging mentality. I command you to live your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will prosper you and you shall be a blessing to your generation. Now, I'm not saying it's a sin for your children to take care of you. It's not a sin. Go wrong. Mama Kolomogbelo si London boki shete yanyengi yanje mama o. Hello? No, 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 no. It's not that she's struggling. That's 
that's why let's get it right in the place of mindset a lot of parents today if i tell you why they are laboring they are only laboring because ah ah oh you are learning you ah oh you are learning you ah oh you are money ah my baby i don't want to imagine you man oh my kuni oh my kuni oh oh you are money oh and you know lie it in it we can be Ah, o ma like mo mi ade la kun. Olorun ma ba mi bless mo mi ade la kun. Mo mi ade la kun lu koko soro ifun mi pe kini ki pastor. Okay? See, if uh, if my children should come and give me, it should be that they came to add to what I have. So that they can be blessed. Do you know that her children got her son got married, gave back to children. She didn't go to nurse children. They brought them atomo ati yawo atoko won keru won ba sodo mo mi ni ko si ye kuri ni e look at where when when they go to the, uh, the generation of israel go back from genesis when they are getting married when your daughter is going to her husband's house they go with mates won tun fun lomo do obirin to ma tele ma lo li oko e to ba wa okay surely fun lo mo do ni olusiye ko ma gbagbe aye eti e nibi to tin to mo because o ba fi aye eti e le to so ga omo lo ma san wa wa disappointed at your old age so many parents don't have work again are you offended i wrote here they will expect too much from them when they grow up beloved this is one of the reasons for intrusion today that's why you see some parents will just they won't tell you before they are coming they'll just bash into your house hey, hey, hey. Ah. show and then you tap your water you it will your you will watch you what on that on that yeah what by and police alone it's wrong it's not biblical Don't, don't, don't abandon your own life. You have a destiny. Ask my, my wife. When my children are talk, trying to talk to me, I say, see, Eniola, I didn't come for your own life. Oh. Are you come for your Abi, you have no man so Are you come? Muni are you tell me? Tell me leave. Are you not like you? My husband, your jula, to help you. He share to your kids. She has Baba. I will give you one quality character two i will give you quality education and three i will give you god now some of you eh, parents tori e gan le se toju marriage te fi keruko le oko yin e ru oju ale Okay, you can't expect him to love you the way he will love his wife. I will see show you that one in the Bible. But if you understand that, see, you don't throw your own life away while trying to take care of your children. You will maintain every opportunity you have, you maintain your work, you maintain your marriage. In fact, you maintain your relationship with God and you maintain your health. To bat it to you more cool con kula sonny. We went for one barrier. I was part of the officiating. If it doesn't okay, one first thing, one first, oh yeah, that you person do yeah, and then person it comes to oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah. But possibly can I know what you said to it, but she won't lay look up very rice. Let's look at what the word. Let's look at it. I have four things to teach you today. Follow this reading very well. Beloved, this is one of the reasons for intrusion. Because these parents will see their children as the three. That's T, the tree. T R W E. 
that should produce their old age shelter and fruits. Such parents will see the spouse of their children as an enemy they should fight against. That's why here I want parents to begin to plan towards their old age. Even as they are raising their children, begin to plan for your old age. As I, I know of a man, he has a whole street on Oluyoli. The man celebrated his 70 some months ago. You know what he did? He gave one one house on his 70th to each of his children on that street. And he was living on his life. Born again Christian. An elder in a church. Only I don't want to wait to die before I give inheritance. I have more than enough. So stop laboring with the mentality that your children is your reward. Mm -mm. Abraham had enough. Ah, what about Isaac when he was to die? Isaac had enough. What about Jacob when he was to die? Jacob had enough. These are our faith fathers now. You watch your wife, father of faith. See, let one move back and jebu. He got to buy him a cup. I want more. I want more. You can't like pussy. Is that the kind of life you want? Live. <laughs> Live a Bible-based life. Don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. You have a life to live. Pursue that life. As you are taking care of your children, giving them quality education, giving them good character, giving them teaching them the knowledge of God, be building and planning your own life too with your spouse. That CEO, a time is going to come. Listen, even me, our own, we have not even gotten to old age. My daughter has been telling me, Daddy, if I, if I finish serving, will I still come back and live with you? I said, why not? He said, why? No, look at the question. That question should give me sense. My mentor told us that they woke up one morning, they were eating on the table and their daddy said, their children, two children said, daddy, mommy, we just want to tell you that we are not coming back home today. What do you mean? Where are you going? We've got, gotten a new place. We've paid. We've furnished it. We just want to tell you that we are not coming back today. Don't build a future on the air. Or else you will be fighting if you don't conquer it now it will get to that point you'll be fighting this the spouse the partner of your children but you know that if you build your future and as you are using one to build them you are using another to plan for your future nothing will bother you about it about tomorrow a tomorrow you have planned for will never bother you again see i hear if you're angry say i hear Number two, when parents do not know their limits, they will take unreasonable, sorry, they will place unreasonable demand on their children. When parents do not know their limits, they will place unreasonable demand on their children. And these demands may irritate the spouse of their children when parents don't know their limit now, let's look at this scripture please put it on screen i want you to see something first corinthians chapter 7 32 to 34 first corinthians chapter 7 from verse 32 to verse 34 first corinthians 7 32 to 34 i want to show you something so that i'm still talking to parents here i'll stop on that point too then i'll face you the children. First Corinthians 7, 32 to 34. Those in the media, I'm waiting for you. So that parents will begin to understand. See, once your children get married, or once they get engaged, you must know your limit. Mr. Faith, are you here? You must begin to understand that there is limits to everything. Look at this scripture. 30, 
Thank you. Look at this. He said, but I want you to be, I, I want you to be without care. He who is unmarried cares for what? For the things, he who is unmarried, until he marry, cares for the things of the Lord. How he may please the Lord. The man that is not married. But look at the next verse. Next verse. Please be fast. But he who is married, read on, cares about what? The things of this world. And what is the thing? How he may please. Is it how he may please his mother? This scripture, wait for me here, shows me that once marriage is achieved, interest will shift. The one that you see, my daddy. I love my daddy, I love my daddy, I love my daddy. We oh, marry him. The day he gets hold of the man he loves, this is what the word of God says. The thing will shift. The one that says, I love my mommy, I love my mommy, I love my mommy. You two stop expecting too much from your child that is married. The moment marriage is, he finds, especially he's married not to his enemy, he's married to the one he loves. It is not intentional. Mommy will say, uh, Oh, mama, oh, 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 he used to come up to 10 times before. Ah, oh, yeah, there's any currency. Then you're now calling, Hello, hello, my son or my daughter. Where are you? I've not seen you. Come down. Listen interest will shift or else they may begin to see you as enemies so if you are not careful that spouse will begin to pray against you if you are not careful they begin to take your name from one prophet to a place to another prophet because i want once you look, tell me, come back, come on, okay? Hello, where are you? Tomani, mommy, I'm, I'm coming right now. Toward the key, hello, when you come, hello, where are you, my son? Mommy, I'm an ambitious. Mommy, I'm an ambitious. Ah, ma, I, I want to, I'm doing, I am, I, I just have some things to do for my wife. The next thing that will cross your mind, your wife? And you, you're not going to be able to be able to be number one let me tell you the truth you can't live with them for too long before you expire Know your limit. That's why I begin to pray and begin to plan for reasons that will make you not to go and stay in their house for long. You should be a visitor there. You go. Let them say, Mama is, Mama is, Mama is around. Mama is around. And let it not be more than a few days. After some, maybe one, two, three days. By the third day, you stand up again. Mama is going, Mama, let them be begging, Mama, are you not going to stay longer than this? Ah, if you stay longer, you will see shame. It's the truth. Now, move on, move on, move on. Show me. We are not yet through with that scripture. Shagada Baskini. He said, but he who is married cares about the things of the world, how he may please his wife. Verse 34. There is a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in the body and in spirit. But she who is married cares about the things of the world, how she may what? Please her husband. So every mother here, you know the mistake we watch in that film is that that mama did not know her limit. She didn't know that the owner of the present love is the wife. What she will, she will have done is to become the best friend of the wife. But she muti, Ben, Mama, but she muti, 
Mille won tell you. But now that she has got into the husband's house, to a wife to one day, she was supposed to do a control herself in accordance with the wife. And can I tell you this truth? In the reality realm, if mama is not careful, she will be tagged as a witch. And before you know it, you see that boy that he say, it's my mother, it's my mother. Ah, love used to get to a point. It will fight anyone that is fighting it. Now let's go on. We don't have all the time. Number three. We still have a thanksgiving. Number three. You are. Oh yes, oh God, you are. I'm trying to look at my audience. Most I God. Nikbato bate wa loru you are. Oh yeah, come down. Number three, please. I want uh, the picture that I say you should put on screen for me. You see why there? Thank you. What do you see in this picture? Yakoni. This one mother. Abi. This is the son. Now listen, leave this picture on screen. Let, let it be there. When the parties involved in marriage did not spell out things very well, to their spouse, there will be crisis. What do I mean? Beloved, there are things you should discuss and agree before you go to the altar. Now, and what are these things? Find out these things from your spouse. Number one, find out from your spouse, from your, from your spouse what position he or she is in the family. Now, when you find there are questions, I want to go to your care during during courtship. Some things must be properly spelled out. Do you know that some families they gathered money to send that boy to school? She un bo she lo school yo bo bo wala da wo joko fi lo school to bati she tomba to riche iwalo ma training bo bo awa brue o. It was an agreement. But this is brother She It was time for him to get married. I'm just giving example. He has a fiancé already. And he just picks a lady. And says, okay, ah, Sister Debbie. Oh, how are you? Oh, you're a child of God. Oh, we can collaborate together. You're a song minister. I'm a song minister. Oh, God, let's our destinies come together. They come to the altar. They get married. Without telling Sister Debbie that family gathered money to raise him to become an accountant. And that when he becomes an accountant, he will train his younger ones. Sheon did not tell Debbie. Now, Debbie now gets home. After marriage, one of Sheon's brother, if they are Sheon, the brother will be Shola. Maybe Shola decides to come. But I mean, Motideo, Motideo, one let you reach out to marry. Ah, honey flat leg, Motideo, you know, Motideo. Ah, ah, Eva. Ah, Auntie, Auntie Debbie, or your wedding, Motideo, you know, Erama, Ekele, Eva, you should see mommy, you can go for me. And Auntie Debbie goes to meet Sheo inside the room. Ah, Kini Shola wa she. Ah, unye. Eh, Shola ma, ma ba agbe. To ma fi kawe ton. Talu ma sponsor eh. To li mo mo kishu ni mo minta. Ah. E, e mi non ni. Kilo ma shele. Wala ma bere. Because when they were cutting, Sheo did not spell out things. Sheri en yon konri, en yon birri. Emma je ki fe bo yin loju de bi pe awon nkan to ye ke jo so ke to lo le e e so There are several things you have to see tell your wife see oh see ti am i badagba odo mi lo ma gbe o I'm the only son no oh. there are things you discuss Wife to tell your husband ah honey honey to ba ma fe mi o wo iya mi mi fi ya mi sere o ah Bond wa la riwa odo mi ni mama mi ma gbe o en to mama fe mi afe mama mi mo there's nothing bad in it if there's an agreement 
you had Reverend Oshifeso, when he came to minister to us, he said his mother-in-law, his mother's wife, lives with him till now. They've been living together for years. Agreement, Siwa. Because you didn't explain anything. Because you didn't explain anything. And I say, my, my wife, my husband doesn't want to see my mommy and my people. What did you tell him? Spell out things. Shall I hear? You are not talking to me. Shout it aloud. Find out who invested on you so that you will raise his younger, your younger ones. Find out again if you are the only child of a single parent. That's another thing, though. I just saw, whoa, whoa. I mean, I'm maybe. Baba, I'm here. I'm ready to separate. Share them, okay? To ba fe o mo kan shosho. Ti ya ye bi. O ju e lo fe gba ye. O bo do je o ta ya ye. A je be o ni ri o ju o mo ye. You don't understand what I'm saying. I'm showing you practical things that causes trouble. And these are things from courtship. Don't say it. Don't deceive that lady into marrying you. Don't deceive that man into... I always say marriage is a lifelong contract. And somebody you are going to choose to walk a walk of destiny together, tell him everything so that if you don't follow you later, you can stop now. I knew my wife. She's the last born of the family. And I knew that every flash born and the, and the mom will be close. So I didn't have choice. I became her mother's friend. Ah, pastor, the mom, you did it. Ah, pastor, you were around. Pastor, you were 99% of time, her mom was always in our house. Top and ball, that's the word. I don't know how to call this. I don't know how to call this. I don't know how to Because these are things we agreed on before marriage. Why will you marry and your family will not be able to come to your house? That's not marriage. That's prison. You have to go and meet your mommy outside. When they call you, hello, hello, uh, my son, uh, we are coming around to your house. Hey, mommy, don't come. Oh. Where are you? Are you at the garage? Ah, okay, you know what? I will meet you at the garage now. discourse spell things out properly if you had a child before tell her tell him before going into that marriage we handled one case some years ago ah this case was serious a man was crying like this my wife will remember the case if i mentioned as i mentioned this our brother is a minister in our church he was crying crying i said what happened he said papa mobi mosita Sugboya I had to call the woman to my office. Kilo de tie she Ah, papa, mi o feri. Emi no madam. Because I to settle it for them. Do you know why? They didn't spell out things properly at the beginning. I wrote some things that I don't want to forget. If you are the only child, okay, I've taken think, that. If you will want your parents and or family members to stay with you later in life, discuss it. If you have a vow to your parents, discuss it. If you have a, a vow to your siblings, discuss it. 
and how you hope to take care of them. Discuss these things because some people have vows. They've, they've made vows to their brothers. They've made vows to their parents. Mommy, am I worried? My first car, I won't use it, I will give you. How will you tell Debbie that you didn't tell? That I've done Thanksgiving in the, in the presence of the church. Or at the Sunday, while I'm going to a lonely mommy. because you didn't discuss how will you, your own family come to your house your husband's family cannot come husband's family can come your wife's family cannot come something is wrong beloved Conclusion over these things. Oh, I'm not yet true. I'm not yet true. Oh, there's another one I wrote here. Your vows to your parents, stroke siblings, and how you hope to take care of them. Then look at this one. You must also discuss, even from courtship, where you intend to spend festive holidays. Every Christmas, my mom and dad, I don't know how they did the agreement. We don't do Christmas in Ibadan. My, mom, my dad is an Ibadan man. My mom is from the East. Every Christmas, my daddy will chatter a boss. He doesn't used to follow us, so, but he will chatter a boss. On the 21, the boss will move us from Ibadan to have their state, to my mommy's village. We'll do Christmas. We'll do New Year. On the third of January, the boss will come from Ibadan to come and pick us back. And every Ileya, my dad, my mom, all of us, we go to the family house of my dad. In Ibadan here, Mapo, Benny, Lorita Mary, Ibelatima, Shodun, Leia. And there was peace. Then we were, we were small. We didn't know anything. It was an agreement between them. What That's why those of you that are young, correct it. And if you are married, after this service, go home. Sit down with your spouse. Talk things over. Your husband may be pretending, you know, we men, we know how to pretend. It is you women that knows how to talk. If a woman come now and say, if a woman see this thing now, he may not like it. I don't like this thing to be on this chair. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, what do you mean? Like it, me like it. The man will. But if the man say, I don't like this thing on the chair, and you say, hey, well, the man will just swallow it because he, he knows that he wants peace. And when you make your face, the thing that he likes is with you. And you, the woman, you can decide to hold yourself. A man cannot hold himself. So it is the man that will be looking for peace. Yeah. And you, as you are walking, going to the kitchen, going, you are killing him more. He will look at you. Say, me no more than you. His body is moved. You, your own body, know they move like that. Do you want, oh God, I'm, I'm a practical married man. 21 years in marriage. I'm telling you. So, he doesn't like that that book is on the paper. But because of that thing, ah, if I don't stop this fight, <laughs> let's leave this thing on the paper, Joe. <laughs> on the, let's leave it on the chair. Let's settle this fight. Let's settle this fight. That's why, go home. Wife, stop making your husband to be pretending. Talk. Let him tell you that, my dear, I wish that we can at least my, my children also can spend the holiday with my mom. My children, are you getting what I'm saying? 
Because listen, whether you like it or not, you two are coming to old age. Can we take one more? Did you learn anything at all? Yes, sir. Say discuss. Yes, sir. I didn't hear you. Yes, sir. Now look at the fourth thing that causes trouble with in-laws. Number four. When those involved in marriage do not place their Bible, sorry, do not practice their biblical role of honor towards their in-laws. Now, there's what we call, okay, let me read again. When those involved in marriage do not practice their biblical role of honor towards their in-laws. In the Bible, we see the relationships, we see some relationships that will teach us. That's what we call biblical role of honor that you should give to your in-law. If you don't know it too, that one will cause trouble. I will explain. But let's look at these scriptures. Exodus chapter 8, chapter 18, verse 7. Let's look at the examples of people that honored their in-laws. Exodus 18, 7. Thank you. So Moses went out to what? To meet his father-in-law. How did he greet him? bowed down and kissed him and they asked each other about their well-being and they went into the tent. Wait. Now, what is this in Yoruba, lang- in Yoruba land? This is what we call a war. Ubo, orike, baba ya wo umbo, odide, ulokpademo. That's courtesy. He stood up to go and meet him. He didn't wait for him to come. Anyone that has not developed a, a heart of honor cannot maintain relationship with in-laws. He ran towards them. The Bible says, what did he do? He bowed down. Daddy. Hugged him and kissed him and asked him how well he, was, he had been doing. That's one. Look at another one. Let's go to the next one. Matthew 8, chapter 8, verse 14 and 15. Matthew chapter 8, 14 and 15. Let's read from the Message Bible. Now, when, okay, thank you. But by this time, they were in front of Peter's house. On entering, Jesus found Peter's who? Let's read now. Ah, mother-in-law sick in bed. Wait. Is it wrong for your in-law to live with you? No! We've just seen this. Peter's mother-in-law was sick. Maybe she was brought. Because some of you are too tough. Oh, very yeah, Oh, very any family. Ah. Ma not you, ma not you. We were not in that below. Okay, let's read on. In bed. Burning up with what? With fever. He touched her, her hand, and the fever was gone. No sooner was she up on her feet than she was fixing dinner for him. If she had been a stranger, she wouldn't know the kitchen. She quickly ran up, quickly. Now, for Peter to, to say, Pastor, it means that they had relationship. Look up. Look up. We have a problem in this generation. And what is the problem? We have several young people who don't have respect. That's the problem we have in this generation. Several wrong young people, they don't have respect. And because they don't have respect, they are afraid that they are their root character will show so they don't want in-law to live with them. You see all this one they say, I don't want to see you, I don't want to see you. It's because they are afraid that their character will show. But listen, it is wrong. Look at the last one. Ruth. Ruth chapter 2 and verse 2. One day, Ruth, the Moabite, the Moabite foreigner said to Naomi, I am going to work. 
and I'm going out to glean among the shelves, fo following after some harvesters who will treat me kindly. Kindly, Naomi said, Go ahead, dear daughter. That's the daughter in law. Mommy, I'm not worried. I hope my time is correct. Wow. Look at that level of honor. See, the same kind of honor you should give to your own parents is the same kind of honor that your in-laws deserve. Because life is a seed. Your attitude is the seed. Life is a field. Your attitude is the seed. It will determine the kind of harvest that life will bring forth to you. Whether you like it or not, one day your children will get married. And you two will be refer referred to as what? Mother-in-law mother or father-in-law. Depending on the sex of your children. At that time, the seed that your character have sown. I know, we saw it in the Bible that you cannot plant orange and harvest what? Banana. You can never plant bad character and harvest a good pastor as your children's husband. Because so Use every opportunity you have to sow good character into your mother-in-laws so that when you two become mother-in-law, the harvest of a good daughter-in-law will come to you. I used to tell my, I used to beat my hand on my chest. I did so well to my in-laws. I love my in-laws. Up till today, if they mention my name, Pastor today could see anything my daughter want to money. Pastor today, turn the salary today. Pastor that, Pastor that, Pastor that. I'm still doing it till today. Thank you. And I know that when my children get married too, one the move where Yes. You know why they will not bring weary? Because I didn't so weary. Okay, let me know. Top of the one can she one fresh meeting. Yeah, one no one can one got any you you meeting weary will not pay. Ah, you will not mark a meeting. That's it. Oh, yeah, but oh, I always tell my sons, you will to bath more motion to you. I know only to you. Ask all my sons in church. During Christmas, I used to call some of them. Hello, Lagbaja. Have you bought chicken for your mother-in-law? Ah, daddy, you won't follow me. Because Sibo ba she follow me too. Lower Kora. In fact, I told one one day. I said, "Come, I'll, let me give you one chicken." When it's hard that I want to give him, he said, "No, sir, I will buy it," and he bought it. But some of you are so stubborn. Yes, your harvest is waiting for you. I will cancel you. I will encourage you. But you are so stubborn. Your harvest is waiting. The only thing that is pending me there is that you will use your own to affect innocent children. I will tell you this story before we go for Thanksgiving of our sister. We had one brother in our church. He used to make his father to cry. One day the father was to do surgery. They drove him to the hospital. This our brother took his father's car and went away to do to carry girls. They finished the operation. They were looking for the car to carry the father. The father, the, the father cried. By the time he came back, Patilotimbo, not a parry operation, 
the father looked at him and said, You know what that means? It means that the father has cursed the child that was unborn. He was a big man. To my shiru efwe. E mo ki oro ye kun. O ma shiru efwe e kpe ni. His first son now is giving him big problem. One day he told me, he said, when he gave birth on the day of Nemi, of that boy, the father said, a son elo bi. A son unto shefu mi lo bi. O ma yene ndalam. O she fa wana no e she practica iru and not you will not offend me, Lord your watch you. Ask my wife. Talk quick, honey. Ah, I remember one day, they just called. Hello, hello. Eh, eh. They want to reconstruct the grave of my mother-in-law. Eh? When you, you meet with Jebi, come back. Alone on it. They told me, we paid half, Abby. Instantly, I transfer, I give my wife, I can transfer half of the money. Transfer it, transfer it. Her brother called me and started praying. That's how it should be. Mag badua pe kuma shawa wi badua pe kuni lati le she toe. Begin to pray for yourself. Say, Lord, forgive me for all the wrong way I have treated my in-laws. What to pay a nine laje? Oh my, we want no laje. Too bad change. Okay, yeah, yeah, we laje. Okay, Baba Yahu, Baba Yahu, Lucio. Oh my, we want to be. We are Toro. That is the key. Allah only. Re kunye dano. Ya basa ta ya gada baskine. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Have you learned something today? Are you sure?